make server side mod start for exactly require you to have something on the client like a server side pixel mon add on for example or whatever other popular mod there is i don't know maybe i guess create too if you wanted and the promise is simple you just make a mod that just run on the server and you don't really care about the client you just have some basic setup and that's about it and hmm yeah and what can be a server side mod well of course some chat utilities so in general like administrative tools but uh, there you can have climbs of course but you can make a tech mod like i'm currently trying to do which i guess it is my second try which I'm, i can talk about it later so let's start with the boring stuff which is not exactly that boring which is the typical server side modes so style chat uh, Styled player list, the hologram thing with the tater, of course, I needed to snack one in. Or Banhammer. These tools are, from the usual point, kind of boring. Like, what do they do? What they change the gameplay? But, for example, here on Black is gone. The tab list is from Styled Chat, and it has nice image, shows info, and shows list of events, so you can just check it quickly and know uh, how much you need to wait. Uh, for style chat, it's used here too. You can have fans formatting, like something I will just copy from a document I made. Yeah, because I'm more prepared than last year. Or, like, you have the brackets around the names, which indicates ranks. Yeah, I, I can talk about it later, but uh, it's funny. Yeah, we have that. <laughs> but, of course, when you make, like, out of styled mods, you need to somehow integrate them with other mods and which it's uh, well with, with just with regular mods or other mods or my own or just someone wants to have compat you don't want to have like need to target four apis you want to target a single api and <laughs> i made a lot of apis i mean technically i didn't make plasma but i have maintaining it but like as GUI, which is standard for server side chest wise the map canvas api which is less of a standard but i don't think there's anything else for that uh, the polymer which some people are scared of some love it it depends whatever you are more of a regular model or not yes yeah, some, some, some people are scared of polymer <laughs> which I'm, I'm not surprised it's in the past it's broke mods and no mods break polymer so i guess it's the same and sorry, I mean, for uh, mixing into your code, just in case. <laughs> yeah. And common mods, which allow you to simply put, have better compatibility, like common protection API, which allows mods to just commonly check if the areas claim it, which wasn't st standard until basic, you just pinged people and start talking about on the uh, our, our public Discord, which thanks. You kind of make it a standard through that. And, well, thanks to it, a lot of mods, to be fair, it's common protection API is highly supported, I think, by all protection mods. So it's fun. So you, you can just target a single API. But, to be fair, what do you do with a lot of APIs? Well, you can, of course, do typical mods, but you can also do the content modding on the server. Which is what I do. You can do it in a few ways. You don't need other items to make a content. You can just edit an entity that's some special beh beh behavior. But you can also just add entities. Or maybe add some blocks. Some of the special functions. You can use the resource pack. You don't need to use the resource pack. And the what I show didn't use the resource packs. Which is... I guess, no, I guess, okay, my slide order is a bit, <laughs> yeah, my slide order is a bit wrong, but you, of course, need something like, why not Bravery? Bravery is a good example of server-side mod that doesn't use any uh, textures, but I first I will set up Gone, Get Off My Lawn, which technically is a climb mod, but I count it as a content mod because... 
arguments for climbs exist. And they change behavior. So I can climb. And I'm in survival, so if someone tried to kill me, they could. Please don't do it. <laughs> I have respawn. Not too far. But yeah. With... Ah, yes. Nice tomatoes. Yeah. So, for example, Brebel, you just build something from vanilla blocks. And it's not a vanilla block. It uses polymer to get the uh, thing working. Padbox big on my stream. Ooh. Ah, nice. So, uh, yeah, I will just awkwardly build it quickly. Which, my building speed isn't the greatest. And I misplaced that block, so quick creative, because I didn't... Yeah, I should thought about it. I should take some tools. And, like, use special item. Automatically becomes a barrel. Change a look. And it technically is server side. It's all vanilla. The block itself looks like a regular stairs, but technically it's... Not as there. The the lines there, they are display entities with player heads. It's a little bit of ugly hack, but it works and it could kill performance, but it doesn't. Uh, yeah, you have technically, but the but barrel vanilla is like not great. Yeah, the, these were made with player heads because you like how you get textures otherwise. And so on. What I yeah, I guess armor Santa, but I won't showcase that. Or tatters, I guess they are here. But you can also go a little step further and go. No, there is ah, there is still a uh, polydex, yeah. But uh, so yeah, you need what? What is the most common mods you see in mod packs? You see some kind of voila and triple viewer like Amy or. I guess, Ray, Timmy, or whatever you want. Uh, and I present you, Wyla and Emmy at home. Yeah, Polydex, which uses a simple GUI and can show you recipes, whatever they are, vanilla or custom ones, and just items. Yeah. Tak, yeah, of course. I mean, some people just call Polydex uh, Emmy or Wyla at home, so why not? And yeah, you can see just use no textures, just some uh, glass paints, and it works fine. And fun fact the name Polydex was created from Polymer plus Index because it's literally Index for Polymer mods. Uh, that's the entire name. Okay, Polydex is fine, it's useful, but it's boring. What if I told you? The. Image doesn't render. God, I love that. <laughs> or does it render? Maybe it's my internet. It is video. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, it renders for me. I guess it's networking. So here we go. Computer craft running on the server. The vanilla client is, I mean, a technically outdated one because I still need to update it the latest. But full mouse works. Keyboard works, and you can just, yeah. Keyboard works by using, oh yeah, it takes, it's a, a little big, big file. I guess something should make a preloading. Yep, and it's all displayed with maps, and there's no textures, and if nothing. And yeah, there will be monitor showcase. Sometimes there might be, some are seeing it, some will. Yep. And it's all server side, no items. I guess custom items. And some people are already scared of that because this is a bit of packets, but it works nicely. And if someone wants to know how it, the, the entire thing works, is the player is riding, uh, riding uh, I think, a horse. So I can block E button and generally capture things. And the player is also spectating the same horse with packets. So technically, player spectating and riding the same entity, which is also made with packets. And this bugs the client, so nothing moves. But you can detect the mouse movement. Yeah, yeah the player is riding a horse with spectating the horse. But what if I told you we can also use resource? What if we use, a, let's say, 
we Atari just packs to Polydex. So it's fancy while at Amy at home. Because why not? And yeah, you can check it out with slash Polydex comment if someone wants to check it now. Or later, why not? So, while we're adding some threshold packs, we can make it look more like actual Wooly. Of course, there is still a lot of difference from just using made one with code, but it's nicer and more fits if more mods are using resource packs, which... Polydex. Wait, does the render one right or... Okay, I think just picture science is broken. Yeah, I think it just takes a while to download. Oh yeah, and it's at least it's short. So it's a simple mechanism, which I can build here, because Polydex is here. Because why wouldn't it be? If I place, for example, some sticky converse, these are our server side. These are barriers. And bar the barriers use a bit of, I guess, magic. Magic, well, an item display, which allows me to not only have multiple models and everything seems like it's connected, which a lot of servers, well, client size models don't. And you can, I can make it move, but I do I have everything. I do have everything, right? I'm not really greatly prepared. <laughs> Doing presentations isn't my thing. But if I, let's say, give a gearbox, few axles. Yeah, it's building is a bit slow when server lags because, of course, it's server side. But it's not too bad. And if I just put some sails, it starts to move. When I, for example, drop an item, it starts to move. And yeah, everything is here is made on the server. So if someone with vanilla joined it, it would just look like that. Nothing would change. Maybe it would be faster because TPS isn't great. If I wanted to, let's say, uh, get a drawer, because of course, I can place let's some song and let's say put one of this, one of that, maybe drawers into drawers. Which, uh, fun fact, I stole the way you interact with them from packages because it worked well. I didn't have a better idea. So, so thought out to Quad for making a cool mod. Yeah, and then everything in vanilla. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can... Uh, nope, I will just go to back. Uh, I guess... We... Nope. We... Yeah, okay. That should help. For example, something like that. It can work. It's, of course, a bit of barrier magic. But since, you know, entities are server side, I can just make them go through. Which makes uh, pretty useful for contraptions. And I guess since you want particular, get particular pieces for that, it will be useful too. Since you can just do that. Okay, I will clean up the stage. It's kind of <laughs> messy here. Uh, this okay. I can. I think I can leave that. Yeah, I will leave the windmill. It's cool. Uh, okay, and the packet count. It's an important thing. It's yeah. Okay. So Polydex uh, uses a simple load system. Because if you spend too, too much money packets, it's not gonna end well. So it changes with distance, which requires logic. It's kind of junk, but but it kind of works. Uh, something more. Okay. So. Okay, it loaded nice. So what's next? Like more nuclear mega games? Uh, Polyfactor two, maybe two annotators. What's next? Where should we bring? I mean, server side is still at least on the fabrics and quilt. Quite young. There's a lot of things that could be done, but aren't yet because there's not enough people. I have many ideas, just I don't have time. And the like Polyf Factory and other projects just <laughs> eat uh, everything. And of course, my life, because I can't just sit all the time at the computer. I need to do something else. 
but how Minecraft changes the server side. It has changed out quite a lot. Like Polyfactory works and looks so well just because Mojang added uh, the display entities in 1.19.4, which make a lot of difference. Like here is stutter without display entities, and here is with one, and it animates if I click. And next versions well added more, like for example the trim system, which can be used by server side mods and can be defined on clients. In the past, biomes there are no server side. Uh, what else? I think more tags are also. So <laughs> I didn't list everything because I didn't think so. But what if I told you? There are some things I know about, but I didn't use, use them. Like, you know Berkui, the funny size changing mod. I don't need it to make players small with vanilla client. I can just it to load. I can just make player small with a couple of packet tricks. And no words size is the same. Everything is the same. Just entity gets small. And how it gets small? Uh, I hope it loads quickly. Yep. The, I will credit. I didn't found that. The I will copy the nickname because. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, it's, so it's, I don't know, half column O's and on the fabric server side, the Discord found it and I later just found how they did it because they didn't tell me. And yeah, you, I can just, with a small bit of packet spam, making player think they are in the sleeping position, make players smart and like, it works both on the server and on the client, which is a fun trick. But remember the uh, computer craft? You could, of course, uh, move the keyboard, but you didn't have USD. What if I co could tell you, you can have USD? And everything else, every single button, shift, space, Q, E, technically numeric ones, entire mouse it needs a while to load of course yeah and it's all detected on the server client is vanilla okay nice which is a trick with if you can see there's a little bit of a dot dot with me on the boat which allows me to both move and you and detect mouse yeah my internet isn't the best uh, it could be better <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry. And which this could maybe not for more regular things used for a mini game, like a third person. Of course, it would be better to just have a camera packet, but it's not something that would be too easy. I guess it would require work. But for now, there's a workaround. So if I wanted to make a game with it, I could just fine. And so on. This is everything I kind of wanted to tell you. So, uh, okay, the questions are on. Thank you for listening to me. And if you have any questions, please drop them. I will try to answer everything because, yeah, that will be fair. I ended quite quickly. Yeah. So, if you have any questions, I guess I need to take a tablet from the backstage. Oh no, I have one. <laughs> yes. My, my, my escape key fell off and it's awkward because I, I was close to UIs with it. I guess I close UIs too hard and it broke now. So let's see the questions. Can you make my mod server site? I don't know who said that. So. Uh, but maybe I could make your most server site. Like, I can make, I guess. Oh, yeah, it works. Uh, can I just add PolyMC mod and then other content mods to my server? You can, but not everything will work. You might need to add some 
I will write some file add-ons, I'll just configure things. So it's not just out of the box. It's not just something might work out of the box, but you will likely want to configure it. Uh, okay, do you have to use the on-screen keyboard? You don't, it's just a conveniency for some buttons. But you can just type it as a comment. It detects the with the bit of magic. It detects the client asking suggestion to the server, and it can from that get what player pressed. So it's quite intuitive. I could show the video, but why not? Let's see. Uh, here we go. Well, that's one of the biggest. Changes you face when trying to convert it into full service attribute mode. You know what? It was. It was simple. It, it wasn't hard. Like I can't really tell you much, because the I think mean, the hardest thing was to convert the few textures to blocks. And I guess a bit. Yeah, I think I could say turtles, and maybe making it look right. No, keyboard was the worst because I needed to make it by hand. But it was technically not hard, just requires some time. But yeah, the idea was easy because computer craft heads are of things already like working and I needed to just, you know, uh, fix it up and make it look right. So what's next? Uh, what is your thoughts of using custom threshold packs for menus using fonts? Is there a better way to do than replacing Unicode? First of all, the Polyfactory and Polydex is use fonts. So maybe I didn't specify that. But yeah, I use fonts because they are nicer than items for some things. But uh, instead of replacing characters, which is a thing people on, do on Bucket, which you shouldn't, you just define a custom font and I guess define custom characters any character with a custom font. It makes it easy. And for example, I can, I guess I will type it in chat because that's how the uh, uh, image in tab list works, uh, if I remember. But uh, I hope it works. Nope, not that. Not, not that I did there. Maybe it was. This, okay, I don't remember how to work, but you can technically tap the same character, is a, the, the icon in tap is that character. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, someone, okay. Uh, let's see. Bla okay. Okay, of course. Icons. Oh, here we go. Here is blanket on icon. Good, good catch, good catch. And normal people can't. Okay, so uh, what are the advantages of this level entities over armor sense? The advantage of this level entity is aside it's uh, maybe a bit faster. It's way more flexible. Like you can uh, with armor sense, you kind of kind of get gimbal locked, and you need to use, you know, the angles, the display. Uh, blocks and items and text can be scaled in any way. So, uh, where's a debug stick? I added it as decorative. For example, if I want, I can easily just add li one line of code and made the windmill two times bigger, which is something you can do with armor stands. But yeah, you have you can also scale it asym asymmetrically, which makes the things even easier. Which some things do, for example, I guess, yeah. Yeah, for example, conveyors use it so they don't uh, defy it when you have them crossed like that because they are a bit bigger than a block. I might change that because I'm not sure about it, but we'll see. Okay, and net next. Uh, yeah, someone <laughs> take my room. Okay, uh, so server side. Picture sign when uh, server side picture sign would be just image to map, which is 
yeah, it's the closest thing. Uh, okay, so let's see. What are your opinions on mods that out the server to send blocks and items to email? Okay, like Roblox. My opinion is that I'm not really interested in using them because I can't really use it with vanilla clients. But they are fine. Like, there is nothing wrong with them. If they work, they have values. That is not something I would use personally. I just prefer to either stick to vanilla or if I did, I would just write a custom mod. Like, the regular mod, I'm not scared of client start modding. Like some people think, I, I write sometimes Y code and I mix it into the client on Polymer and I do out of networking. How good is SGUI compared to plugins like Deluxe Menus and Triumph? Guy, can you make the GUIs in config and like that? Would you possibly add that in the future? Will SGUI support enough GUI texture features in 1.20? To when it raises, there is no new t features and 1.20.2 for I can use as, as GUI. That's one mistake, because these are just cleanups for the resource pack makers. So it's not much here, and you can't compare S GUI to the like the Dex menus or Triumph GUI because S GUI is just a backend library for making GUI easily, and these two are just user facing plugins. So it also doesn't super config its all code. Yeah, that's action inventory. You can check it out. I think someone else also was working on one. But yeah, it's uh, completely different. I mean, different thing. What is the cost of packet spamming if you include multiple server mods? Is that a way to mitigate the cost? Slippy Evelyn. So. It will only lack if you have a base connection, be really too, way too many packets. It should be an issue most of the time. Like it's not an issue really with poly, polymer, I mean polyfactory. And there's rarity that mods send too many packets on the server. Like it's mostly my mods and I guess immersive crystalness. And that's about it. I, I, I myself don't try to not send too many packets. Okay, yeah, physics toys is a take demo, it's not real mod. Yeah, because I have, um, I made a mod that just adds physics to Minecraft on the server side. I could suit up before the showcase is here, but I didn't want to get footage because I was lazy. But yeah, technically it's not an issue, and if it's an issue, you need to talk with dev. Let's see. Oh god, there's so much. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. How did you implement the conveyor belt animation in Polyfactory? It's a texture. I thought about how else I could make it, and to be fair, the texture is the only way. Which makes it kind of limiting, so it's not the smoothest, but it works. And you can see it clearly from the dis from nearby. From distance, it's not much. Yeah, animated texture. You, I can even, yeah, I think I can set up it. And where is the... Axel, Axel, okay, I mean hand cranked. In a similar way, for example, if I start running it, it starts from a point, but if I stop, it like snaps back a bit. But yeah, animated textures are the best way because otherwise I, I didn't need to spam packets or it just would be ugly. And the texture was generated by code, so I didn't make it by hand. It would be pain to make it by hand. Okay, so what's the next question? Can we make pairs big server side too? Hmm. I can't do it normal way, but I know some shader data packers are doing some crazy things with shaders, and I think they could make the player model big. And I guess you could emulate that by making player write something and just control things like that. So you could, I guess, emulate that, but it would be a bit maybe janky and depend on ping. Okay, so next one. Do you like the split sources when you start a new mod or do you keep them together? 
And my mods are just copies of other mods with code deleted. I never, I or maybe not ever, but I really, really, really start from the beginning with a fabric template. I just copy the mods, and since my thing is quite old at this point, uh, I never use pit resources. And to be fair, once I used it, it was kind of pain, but I think it's more issue with IntelliJ and the compilers. Uh, but uh, for normal mods, it's cool things because it's less likely people will just uh, create bugs that break polymer. Because it happens all the time. It happens all the time. I, I don't didn't count it, but there's way too many times it happened. Okay, so the next uh, question, tomatoes. Yeah, people were using it. Oh, well, yeah, it's a stage item. Okay. What did you dis the display mean for your work exactly? For example, you couldn't before kind of display text that's full scale and doesn't rotate, which I cannot do. So I, for example, can take where did I put it? Or I didn't put it here because why not? I uh, yeah. Technically, I can port to lowercase to vanilla. And my client lagged. I love it. Uh, where it is? Uh, it's uh, maybe not. Uh, it's lagging, but yeah, it's faster than other stand. I can scale it as I want, so I can make things as big as small, and limits aren't a problem. And I can display text in more flexible ways. You can check the polyfactory booth. It's like further away if you go. Nearby the station, so it's just as we went. Yeah, and they don't exist in world, so that's thing. I should remove this. Yeah. What's next? I think I uh, I don't want to break it, but I think it's because the slides uh, here. I will press button and tell me if it's faster. Maybe restart the system. Maybe restart. I mean, no, no, because I want to drop all the questions. I don't want to lose them. I just want to. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, it did interest at them. Okay. Okay, good. It just, you need to uh, hide it. Not sure how you do it. Uh, oh, God, my client's dying. And then I mean dying. I don't know why. I guess I will need to face you backwards. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know how to use it. Here, here. Okay. Do you have a list of libraries that would be useful to use for making common site mods more compatible with server side? I mean, server side compatible. If you make want to make your mods. Uh, Technically, if you make content mod, you can make polymer mod that's client augmented, uh, so it looks modded when client is using your mod and looks like vanilla otherwise. But you just write, you need to write the good code if you don't want to break server side mod in this sense. Do you have precise control over the scale in the previous stick? I have exact control. I can make it as small and as big as I want. Uh, question, do I press it or... Okay, it looks like that. Please try. Okay, I don't know if I didn't break it. Okay, it works, nice. Uh, so this question was answered. I have full control. Uh, how did you implement such relative precise player controller for the Nucleoid Virtual April Fool's console? Uh. Thank you, Linux, for asking me for an update and love that. It sometimes does like that. <laughs> and it just uses, you know, when you, for example, write a minecart. And some rails. You know how you can just uh, sit down and move by pressing forward and backwards, which I can't do. I think something broke. Uh, okay, yeah, I can just, it's laggy. So it uses that, uh, yeah, 
You, this is the same system it, because client sends packets exactly if Brave is forward, backward, left, right, and it just uses that as data. By the extent I can't use mouse because and it is it is more precise. So, I, but at least I didn't need a mouse really. Uh, let's see what's next. Are there notable libraries or features that you can't or are really hard to make server side? I mean, Pechui. If you want entire Pechui or anything that this guy is deployed on the client, or more advanced custom GUIs are pain in the ass to make. You can emulate them, but they won't be as good as Jaguar mods. Because to be fair, of course, if you run on client, it will be more responsive than on server. But on server, it will be compatible with vanilla, which I guess it's a trade-off. Depends what you are working on. But I don't look really on the, the normal client side libraries too much because I just developed server side, so <laughs> I look at cool mods, so. Oh god. <laughs> the, 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 the questions are really never ending. <laughs> How large is of the impact do you think display entities had on server side development? It's again. Uh, yeah, don't worry. A lot. I mean, at least for me, it's a lot for way more control and we allow in way nicer mods in the future because I have some plans for like a decoration mods, which this will allow nicely. I will clone some things from Aurora decorations. So. so sorry for stealing features from mods, but like <laughs> it's it's hard not to. <laughs> if you spam them too much, they will be expensive. If you, you have moderate amount and you set up a name correctly, they won't be too bad. They're still faster than most of the entities, so that's a good thing. Are you limited in the amount of textures you can use with server-side mods? Do you have to mix and match it, or is it fixed? The limit is about the resource pack size. There is no other limit. Like, it works just like regular mods, it just loads everything. And if, if you set up models... But there, if you have too many custom model data on a single item, it might be a get laggy if you spam too many of them. So it's best to just spread things about multiple items if you have a lot of data. Like all of the conveyors are on the single, on the single items, they use a few more. Since like there's 24 for speed and there's all the shapes, which is a lot of models. How far can one, can one push texture packs and display entities without having to employ something like Optifine? You can do a lot, and I by a lot I mean a lot, and you don't need Optifine at all to do anything really, because people with shaders made ray tracing. So, <laughs> I mean vanilla shaders, the data pack and the resource pack people made ray tracing with vanilla shaders. So I don't don't think oh you need Optifine for anything nice. Like you can already use armors, you can use you can make armors technically entities if you make them correctly. So you don't, you never likely need to use Optifine. Unless you are working with like ancient version where it might be needed. But like on modern, you don't need it. And how, <laughs> how are you just this awesome? I don't know. I guess I was just born like that. <laughs> I have too much skill. <laughs> but, I, but thanks, thanks. <laughs> I want to greet my mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> yeah, agree. Yeah. No, Jerry, don't nerf me. <laughs> you are the only person that can do it. Please don't. Ah. I don't know. I just wanted to make a Minecraft server and somehow ended like that. Don't ask me. I don't know. Uh... Is there anything you can't do server side currently you be that you hope Mojang will make possible in the future? I mean like actual custom wise and unlimited custom blocks and items, which I guess is a common thing. 
data fact people also wanted. So just and a lot of convenience features like, for example, more control over sound engine because it's pain. But I like I found a weird hack to make a custom disk server side without really hitting the limit. And the, you can play multiple of them. But it requires a lot of sound events. And by a lot, I mean a lot defined in the resource pack. You 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 have a one main one and then you have like a thousand of different ones and you just iterate over IDs so they never collide in a normal setting. Which works nicely. I guess you can have few less, but it's a hack. But yeah, having just more control over the client and would be nice. And disabling the client side predictions for some things is pain in the ass. Like I'm currently trying to fix the notebox updating when people move them with piston on the client in the polymer because I'm, I'm pretty sure polymc also has this issue. Yeah, and it's pain. Okay, what's next? Any most you would like to see made server side compatible? Botania. Botania on the server side because it is possible. I looked into it. It should be possible. It doesn't have things that may, could really block it. It might be a bit junky in places, but it should be possible. And I guess there's a lot of smaller modes that would be nice, but I'll, the smaller modes just either work with PolyMCI, I can patch them up. I guess some utility mods would be nice. Nice. Yeah, server side botany is possible. It's like the idea that's in my head for like like a year. I might try myself making it reality myself, but it should be possible. Yeah, it's on one dream. It's, you, there's a secret. I can. I guess I can drop the link here, just quickly. It's outdated. I plan on updating into one point twenty, but I didn't have really time or motivation. But yeah, it's here, you can use it. It's open source, because why not? I and mean, it's visible, so I guess it, the license is weird, but it's more of the com well computer craft things, because computer craft has a weird license. Are there any common APIs planned? I know you like my common APIs. Uh, I can say I don't have them planned. I make APIs when I need something. I never plan to make an API and... I may just make an happy when I meet thing. Uh, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> yeah, Botania could really work for something like that. <laughs> I mean, I make only I make happies when I need them. Why do you dislike client side modding? There are the problems there. It, if I say I hate client side or something like that, it's it's nev never take it seriously. It's a joke. I. I write co client code sometimes myself. Like I, I, I can even get link the one of the mods that's more client side than server side. I guess the world server side, but it's more client side for things, and has more client code than server code. Oh god! But the, oh oh! I for, oh okay. I didn't crash. I never crash craft. At least it looked like that. And this mod just allows you to change entity view distance depending on the entity type, but it's. Worse client side, but server side, and I don't feel anything to the client. I just server side is just more fun for me. Uh, can PolyMC Polymer be on Forge ever? Uh, officially, from me, not. But uh, if someone either reports it or if the that connector project gets far enough to make them run. Sure, I guess if the connector works with poly will work with Polymer, if it ever happens, I might just add support for client register sync. Yeah, but it will likely be broken because currently it just crashed. I, I tested it. Yeah, Synetra connector, I mean this thing. If it works well by that, there will be Polymer on Forge. Otherwise, I'm not. I, will, I don't plan on developing on Forge because it would be a waste of time for me. Because I don't use Forge, I only use Fabric. Yeah. It is possible, it should be. Oh. <laughs> How do you add arbitrary textures? Do you have to write on specific 
player ex playheads existing. For player heads, if I yeah, don't worry, I have fun with it. Uh, there is a service I use. It can just easily generate you the required data for a player head. I I use it all the time if I need to make one. And since Mojang never removes the files, it makes it easy. True, the recent skin reporting might make it fun, but it should be still possible to do it with just your own account. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I'm not against the skin reporting itself, just this one usage might be uh, problematic. I think I need to lower my view distance because I'm lagging as... Okay, I hope it helped. Maybe it could, maybe not. But for normal resource packs, it's just limitation of the how many you can put them and how many the client can use it. Do you have any expectations for one point twenty point two one point uh, twenty one? The comment on the passions where they added early play pre play config is very sus. Uh, they, they didn't exactly add the early play or pre-play. Technically, it's my thing. I, my, my plan is just to move some things to config stage and use config stage for more things. So extending the APIs. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm curious if I can just disable, disable it. Because my computer is dying right now. I don't know if there is people I don't want to break it. So yeah, I plan just expanding on the usage of that. Yeah, yeah, you can. You how do you know if my mods can be converted to server side mode by using polymer and in a similar way when do you think mods should and shouldn't be converted to this a server side mod? There is no question if it should and shouldn't. If you want it converted, you just do it. If I there is no thing you should I guess you just look if it's if it's are you ideally don't do it just so they don't try to sue you over sending assets or something like that. But to be fair, I'm mostly looking how feasible the usage is. Which Oh yeah. Yeah, I I don't know if I I can can disable it or not. I would fix. I think I hope I don't break anything. I'm kind of scared of touching this thing. Yeah. Disable picture signs because I think it kinda causes the lags. Some some people actually say that because I'm, I'm... okay. Thank you. But yeah, there is. Uh, you, yeah, if, I, if I need a mod. Okay, no, okay, sure. Yeah, it might be good to. Oh, yeah. I just got. I need to check how, many, how much memory my PC uses. It's not bad, okay. But yeah. You convert it if you want. That's about it. Uh, what <laughs> what adventures do you think server side fabric offers the dev developers over more traditional server side apps like Spigot and Paper? You have mixing. You just have mixins, and mixins allow you to do anything you want with the base game, with Spigot and Paper and other app based implementations like that. You are way more limited what you can do. I'm pretty sure if they do, they, do, they... sponge is. I never use sponge. I guess it allows you. But to be fair, I think fabric just gives you more freedom. And by bonus, you can just use them with mod packs. So yeah, my service I mod some. Some are in mod packs and bigger mod packs, smaller mod packs. But I did. You didn't really use them much. But yeah, you get. Way less freedom and more hacky. Is there a way to handle collision boxes alongside display entities? Not really officially and not great, but you can make an invisible fucker with some textures removed and make it 
technically a box collision that works. I didn't test it. I might use it for Polyfactory because I want to try making rotating world stuff at least later. But I technically want to make shulker boxes. And yeah, it depends. Technically, bots are a thing. I'm not. I, I don't think I eat it or just. I don't know if it translates to the same thing. I'm Polish, so. Yeah, can't answer this question. <laughs> the questions never end. <laughs> How are the GUIs made for server-side mods? And do you do the rest of packs to load the full GUI rather than glass panes? So, uh, the basic wise are just like the chest and you just add some items in it. If you add a font or something, or you just don't take, you add the glass uh, panes because the server knows when the client has server resource pack and when you can just automatically toggle that. And Polymer event gives an API for that. So it's quite easy. You, you, I guess you can see poly, Polydex code. But yeah. It's not that hard. Just, yeah, you can make emotes. Oh, yeah. oh God, my clients. I think I need to face it that way because it lags less. Yeah. I will try to make it faster because there's a lot of questions. I don't know how many. Yeah, did I click this? Okay, yeah. And I uh, clicked shift. Okay. How much... Of a concert client performance, how many display entities do you these blocks need? How many can be used before skimming from hits? It depends on the item model it's set to. It's not it's a variable thing. You can have a lot of models just that are simple and they won't be an issue, and you have like to have three items and they will lag the client to death because they have way too many faces. So you just look and see and you can't really like predict it. These aren't really static values. Why do you prefer server-side modding? Is it change or is it vanilla client compatibility or just super important to you? Technically both. The change is fun. The compatibility is useful. And because I want to finally make that server, <laughs> I wanted to make three years ago, which takes me a long time, but it slowly comes together. And that's the thing why I do. And to be fair, I guess it's main kind of the entire thing now. So <laughs> why not continue it? I like it. It's fun. And that's, that's what really matters. Yeah, and that's that's a nice thing. Like you can have Polyfactory, factory. They just say, okay, don't resource pack. And you can play together making a factory just like it was modded. And no one needs to install anything. What's your favorite tater? All of them. I don't have favorites. I mean, I guess the classic one I made in Botania one is fun. The Irritator is also cool. <laughs> uh, but there's so many taters. Like, this one so server is just like some slice of what is on Nucleoid. But all taters are cool. I mean, I made, made the cubic one. Oh, okay. So many questions. Uh, I will guess. So I, I think I made that variant of size size tater too. So, do you think Fabric will, will ever be able to compete with Spigot in terms of vanilla server running, or do you think it's already there? It could compete, but it's missing a lot of smart mods, like uh, something like Towny, for example. But with enough time and developers, it could just replace it just fine. But it's not like Spigot matters at this point because, like, people mostly use paper anyway. <laughs> but Maybe it could replace paper too, just a lot of time and just needs a lot of more developers. What would be your thoughts if Modern made uh, blocks data driven? It kind of depends on how they did it, but the best scenario that's flexible but also kind of has parts hard coded just so they can implement behavior by code in a uh, fine, not terrible way. It would be great. It, it would allow me, for example, with Polyfactory to just 
make things w- code l- l- way simple and make way faster since I could just use blocks and it would be baked instead of using animations. And of course, the most important thing, the colli- block collision boxes could be like more correct to the model instead like either a bit too small or too big. Yeah, but it would be so nice to just have data driven blocks. Will you add any server side mods to Nucleoid? I mean, all, serv- all of Nucleoid mods are server side. So, yeah, like Nucleoid is entirely server. Everything there is server side is vanilla client. Can we call you the networking wizards? I really technically work on networking and packet serialization is the main thing. There might be people. There are people who are better with regular networking. I guess it wouldn't be. As correct. How can we get the server side CC? I can link it again. I guess someone missed it. Uh, yeah. Yep. It's on Modrinf. You can just search computer craft polymer and it will show. I'll just click this link. Whew. Can display entities be used to display player entities? Yes, data packers did it before me, uh, of course. But yes, you can do it with, with some shader hacks. Technically, it was used, done with armor stands too, of course, with shader hacks, because you can't do it otherwise. Is is more important to use block display over item display? It should be a bit faster to use block display over item display. Yeah. It should be a bit because there's less things, but they are a bit more, more limited. Where are you from? I can say I'm from Poland, and that's about it. And maybe that I'm moving to Poznan soon, so it will be fun. Uh, gee, the, the answers never never end. Yeah, server site. That is, is server site. What tools do you use to avoid monitor problems caused by expensive packet traffic? You mean, ah, yeah, I just hope nothing breaks and it's fine. Like I do it on, on, by the eye and I guess F3 menu. And I use, <laughs> uh, how it was called? Uh, gadget. Gadget is useful too for uh, like debugging packets. It works nicely. Not a question, but thank you for doing this padbox and asking so many questions. <laughs> there is, there is more. <laughs> they never ending. They are never ending. Uh, not a question, but no. Yeah. So I'm glad people like this stuff. It makes my day to be fair. A lot of the time when people say nice stuff. Okay. So the there are noticeable multi equivalents of plugins that you miss for bigger servers like Nucleate and managing them. <laughs> I'm a developer. If I'm missing something, I just write something. So I can't really answer this question because I'm not missing anything. I just write something if I miss it. So, yeah, that's why you likely see, that's why I'm making Polyfactory because I want a server-side tech mod because I'm missing it for my idea of the server. So yeah, I can just write it so I never miss it. How do server-side mods do with stuff like Gazer? Through modding on Bedrock? Some things work. Some things don't work like a uh, computer craft won't work because I depend on uh, poly uh, some weird junk Java junglers and it can't that can't be replicated with bedrock. I also depend on the brigadiers which can't really be emulated on bedrock either. So, but some simple models like gone should work. Poly factory won't work yet because they don't support things I need. But I'm in a private chat on the gazer. Discord if that helps and I'm talking with them because they are working on something sometimes. I mean, it's not really super active development, but it slowly goes. I guess they are so announced, so. (laughs) What do you think has the biggest chance to be data driven first? I don't know. Like, there's a lot of things. I guess items and blocks, maybe. Entities, kind of, but entities are really specific. Status effects are specific, but also possible. Like, I don't think UIs could be. The GUIs are kind of work on, but like, there's a lot of things Mojang changes slowly that are more data driven 
friendly. So it's hard to tell what will be next. I don't know. We'll see. Let's have something fun. I just think that Minecraft community is wonderful and Paris. Thanks you for your devs. Ah, nice. And yeah, it started just like the questions ended. So that's perfect. Just body call, but I will restart my client because it's dying. Yeah, we, we just ended and game started. So nice. Oh, God. that was a lot of questions. Don't restart the client, just relog. Okay, sh sure, sure. Good, good to know. So I'm going to remove the item. Or did someone else you already do it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank um, you, everyone. Before you relog, uh, remove the. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, technically. Phone. Technically, I have another event too because Nucleoid is also like I'm the oh. one, so. <laughs> oh. I guess uh, I will it, remove it because it's like we are locally playing. Games, it's so. really buggy. Yeah. And I remove it in creative, so oh no. I'm going to put it back and remove it in survival. Oh god. Yeah, so thank oh, you everyone. I'm relogging just so my client doesn't Yay. die.